was to guard and protect the Rhine Gold. But because the gold has been taken, this planet will soon fall into darkness. Fall into darkness? The three priestesses are prepared to vanish along with the planet. It is a sad end, but that is their fate. Initiating time radar. There! Stop there! That's the bandit ship that stole the Rheingold! It's a heavy armor battleship. Current image is from 23 hours, 54 minutes ago. Calculate the distance and speed, and determine the battleship's trajectory. Affirmative. Mime. Tell me, why do you look so sad? It must be a very difficult matter that you can't tell anyone about. Emeraldus, I am sorry. It's all right. But just remember this, Mime. You are not alone. Harlock, Tochiro, and I are with you. We are a team, and we will always be here for you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, but I must return now to my own ship, the Queen Emeraldus. But if something happens, I'll be right back. You must have courage, Mime. Emeraldus. The Rheingold is the center of the universe, the essence of time itself which rules the entire universe. What could this all be about? Mime won't tell us anything. All we can do is go after the bandits who stole the gold. Damn it, I feel like we're being toyed with! Stop complaining, Tojiro. 
Mime knows exactly who these bandits are. But she's agonizing over whether or not to tell us what she knows about them. Trust me, we'll just have to wait until Mime is comfortable enough to reveal their identity. <laughs> You're always a softie when it comes to women. Analysis complete. Speed, direction, distance. Based on these factors, there is a 78% probability that the ship is headed for the third planet of the solar system. Earth. Earth! To Earth. Is there something you're not telling us, Mime? The bandits want to make a ring out of the gold. A ring? There's only one person capable of the high-precision work needed to make a ring from the Rhine Gold. You mean, Dr. Daiba? We cannot let him make that ring. We must stop him at all costs. Guest, Mr. Daiba. Uh, I'm Tadashi Daiba. Can I help you? What incredible fabrication equipment. This can be used to make the ring. He passed away? Yes, about two years ago. I see. I'm sorry. I didn't know. How do you know my father? I knew him a long time ago. It was before you were even born. Not on Earth, but far off in distant space. In distant space? My... My father often told me... about a black cloak with a white skull and crossbones, and a crimson ship flying the flag of the skull and crossbones. He said that ship was coming to get me, and that I'm to get on without hesitation. My research is going nowhere because I'm haunted by those words. When... when I was told that I had a guest, I thought that maybe they had finally come to get me. Have you been carrying on your father's work? Yes. I've taken it over. Mr. Tadashi Daiba, if someone were to come to you with a gold ingot, and were to ask that you make him a gold ring. I'd like you to refuse. I have come to ask you that favor. I don't think I understand you. He will most definitely come to you, Mr. Daiba. You must refuse. You must never make that ring. Why? All I know is I was simply asked to tell you that by Harlock 
the man with the skull and crossbones. Huh? Mr. Tadashi Daiba, I trust that you will accept my request. I must go now. Wait, hang on a minute. Is it true that Harlock is asking me a favor? Dr. Daiba passed away. What? What are you doing in my factory? I've come to see Dr. Daiba about a job, but it seems I'm out of luck. You've got quite an amazing fabrication shop here. Is there anyone in this world who can use this equipment? I doubt that a kid like you could handle it. What? My father taught me everything there is to know about this equipment. I can handle it. Then can you make me a ring? A, a ring? Yes. A ring made from this. Is that a gold ingot? <sighs> if someone were to come to you with a gold ingot and were to ask that you make him a gold ring, I'd like you to refuse. I refuse. I see. I figured as much. This is a holy treasure. The purest gold in the universe. Obviously, a novice like you couldn't forge a ring out of it. You're wrong. I can do it. I mean, I could. But I made a promise to someone. <laughs> oh, never mind. I suppose my expectations were too high. I guess I'll find someone else. Wait. Uh, I will make it. What size should it be? The size of my finger. You'll have a lot of gold left over. I said it must be forged. You compress it through cold forging, case hardening. You heat the surface as you would any other metal, while also compressing the interior. All right. Just leave the design up to me, okay? Why not?
Is it complete? No, not yet. I have to cool it. It's finished. Finally have the ring! <laughs> oh, everyone in the universe shall bow their heads to me and grovel at my feet! <laughs> oh, what? what are you oh. talking about? Oh, well, you may not be able to understand it. And it may be better that you don't. <gasps> Here is your payment for making me the ring. You shall accept it. Lucky for you, kid, that you were wearing that bulletproof vest. Uh, who are you? Is it true that your father is dead? Yes, uh, so I suppose you were a friend of his too? I sure was. Where did he go? The one who shot me? Ah, uh, he's long gone. You've been unconscious for four hours, kid. Damn! And he didn't even pay me for the ring. Sounds like I didn't get here in time. Not in time for the ring, anyway. That guy had some really strange things to say about it. What is so important about that ring anyway? You really want to know? If you do, come with me. Huh? A man wearing a black cloak with a white skull and crossbones is waiting for you. What? Are you coming? What's it gonna be, kid? I'll go. Are you sure? I don't know when you'll be able to return. <laughs> Take this. It belonged to your father. I've held on to it for a long time. Only now do I get to return it to his family. It says Cosmo Dragoon. It's a soldier's gun. Your father was part of our group. We traveled long and far, fighting in the far reaches of space. At times I saved him, at other times <laughs> he saved me. I remember it all like it was yesterday. To think a friend like that had already died here on Earth, and I didn't know. I'm sorry. Don't be. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can see it now. That's the Arcadia.
Harlock, this is the son of Dr. Daiba. Tadashi. I've heard a lot about you from my father. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. You've been waiting for me? That's right. Ever since Dr. Daiba told me that you were born, I knew that you would one day come aboard the Arcadia. I always knew that. From now on, you are part of our family. Thanks. Yatran, prepare to leave this solar system. Aye, aye, Captain. I see. So you made the ring for him after all. And fate would have it that it would be you, the son of Dr. Daiba. Mime, perhaps now would be a good time to tell us what's going on. Tell us what the secret is that lies behind the ring made from the Rhinegold, and who's the bandit that had him make the ring? Mime, please. I am the sister of Alberic, the head of the clan that ruled the Fifth World and which is said to have been destroyed. This clan that I speak of is known as the Nibelung Clan. The Nibelung Clan? I thought the Nibelung Clan was just part of some ancient legend. The one who took the gold from the planet Rhine, and the one who had the ring made, was my brother, Alberic. The bandit is your brother? The ring that's made from the Rhine Gold possesses the power to control the whole universe. My brother Alberic plans to use this power to invade Valhalla. Where's Valhalla? Valhalla is at the center of the universe, the planet where the great gods live. And Wotan, the god of gods who reigns over Valhalla, has learned about the ring and has awakened. The Nibelung, with the power of the ring, are about to start a war with Valhalla at the very center of our universe. An unimaginable war that will draw in galaxies upon galaxies. Oh, Harlock, you must stop my brother. Don't let him start this war.
The Rheingold. The Ring. Valhalla. Wotan. Mime must be hiding more secrets. But before we can find out, the Arcadia is attacked by a mysterious ship. Well, we'll just have to fight back. Who knows what we'll encounter as we follow their trail.